Hello everyone and welcome to Clara's Cooking Corner. Today I woke up and I decided I cannot live without IHOP's cupcake pancakes. However, I cannot go to IHOP because I'm stuck in the house. So I'm making them myself, except I don't know how to do that. So instead I'm just making confetti cake. And I apologize for the clickety clacking. That's my dog, Katie, making a ruckus. Okay, bye. Step one. Eat your multivitamin. You got Katie! This is not for you! <laughs> I personally like the orange ones the best and the strawberry ones the second best, and I hate these blueberry ones. But at this point, I've picked out all the others, so I have to eat them. Because life sucks! <laughs> JK, it's pretty good. Alright, so here, here I have my ingredients, which I painfully transcribed from the joy of cooking. Um, because I'm doing like half a recipe and I don't want to get the numbers mixed up in my head because like numbers are a lot of math. So anyways, next step. Holy sift. El mayo. I really el mayo there, man. Call me chaps because I'd be assless. Moving on. Okay, this is definitely expired, but I mean the worst it can do is just not become a cake, right? I, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Butter. <laughs> it's gloopy. <laughs> All right, I gotta cream this. I don't know what that means, cause like I'm pretty sure the ingredients of cream aren't butter and sugar. And I'm too lazy to look it up on YouTube, so I'm just gonna mix them really good. And I don't know. <laughs> I'm a professional, guys. And that's a little concerning, so I'm gonna be more violent with my mixing. <laughs> Okay, it looks a, a little too juicy, but it'll probably be fine. Was I supposed to add the dry ingredients? Okay, to be honest, it's looking pretty cakey, so let's do the taste test. Keep in mind, there is raw egg in this. It tastes like buttery flour, which is close, so I think we're good. We have so many sprinkles, and that's just because people keep giving them to us, and you'd think that'd be great, but actually after a while, it gets really overwhelming because now we have so many sprinkles, and I have to find things like this to eat them with. So I think I'm going to do these fun, festive spring ones. They've got little rabbits, I suppose. I don't know. Fun. Fun. Fetty. <laughs> LMAO. Okay. Small dilemma. We have this pan, which I measured with a ruler very scientifically, and it's eight inches. And this recipe is for nine inches. So if my calculations are correct, we're off by about an inch. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this one up, like mostly, and then if I have any leftovers, I'm gonna make like a singular cupcake. Or, you know, I could just go ham and put all of it in the eight inch and watch it overflow. That sounds like a fun idea. Okay, bad news guys, I severely pranked myself. This is in no way correct. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to put it in a bread pan. Okay, so I found a much smaller version of the same pan. In geometry, they would be similar shapes. Um, and it, I think it works pretty well. So my oven is preheating because I forgot to do that earlier. Step number one, preheat your oven. Step number two, eat your vitamins. And then I'm gonna put it in and hopefully Hopefully this works, you know? There's really no telling until I eat it. And this is my breakfast. And I'm also wasting a lot of kitchen ingredients, so here's hoping. All right, so my mom says it doesn't look very good, but at least I haven't set the toaster oven on fire four times, mom. I've only done it once, so. Uh-oh, I didn't grease the pans. <laughs> now this is what I like to call a fiasco in my vocabulary. Others might call it a debacle, a disaster, a mess, um, but you know what? That's the beauty of life. You can make mistakes, get messy, whatever else Miss Frizzle says. Um, this is a, this is just not ideal, but it's okay guys, we'll get through this together. Okay, to be fair, what are you supposed to butter the pan with? Flour and butter, right? Or like butter and then flour. Hear me out, hear me out. Those ingredients are already in the cake. So the cake itself butters the pan. You know? Here's hoping. Fun fact times while we're waiting, because I have 25 minutes. My eyes 
are at different heights. This one's higher than this one. It's kind of kooky, kind of not. I can't take selfies because I'll be like, and then my eyes are obviously different. But then if I'm like, then my eyes are still obviously different. So I think that's like a metaphor for my life right now. So we didn't have toothpicks, so I'm using this reusable chopstick. Oh, it's not on camera. Oh, just kidding. It's really juicy in there still. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, part two. Hopefully it's actually not raw in the middle this time because I'm really hungry and I've been doing this for like two hours now. Now you're gonna use this second chopstick in your set of chopsticks, except I didn't find it, so I'm using a skewer instead. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna eat the top part and put the rest in the oven for later. All right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for, the third, because this cake doesn't wanna finish. But here we go, I've put it in for like 20 minutes. If it's not done at this point, I'm just eating it raw because I'm hungry. Let's use the same skewer from before, but the opposite side. Okay. It's pretty clean. I think that's a success. And to emulate the IHOP cupcake pancakes, I'm going to cover it in syrup. Mmm, look how good that looks. Haha. <laughs> So, if you couldn't tell already, this was definitely worth my time, and I believe that I will be making more cakes in the future, because I am very good at them, and I am good at following directions, and, and it kind of tasted bad, but um, practice makes perfect. Happy Palm Sunday. Praise Jesus. This ain't it, Chief. It tastes like sweet cornbread. Mm. That's not a good thing. Man, it's just like Lucky Charms. It's tragically delicious. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And um, bye.